Hello and welcome to a hail forecast from Hail Trace. Uh, today we're forecasting uh, some pretty significant opportunities for hail uh, across Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, possibly southern Michigan. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into the forecast so we can get right to the areas that are going to be most impacted by today's hail threat. We're going to be the, watching uh, first area again, a large area that has a potential for quarter to golf ball size hail, uh, as you can see across uh, areas from Madison to Milwaukee to Chicago, starting back at Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Peoria, Illinois, uh, Indianapolis, Columbus, Dayton, Akron, Toledo, uh, Detroit, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Just a, a huge area that has the potential for uh, some pretty significant hail. And one of the features that we'll be watching today that may uh, have a tendency to decrease what we need in hail size to cause damage will be the, the potential for some pretty significant winds today. In fact, I wouldn't be shocked if there's an area that receives uh, winds potentially to 100 miles per hour today. That's without tornadoes. That's just straight line winds at, at 100 miles per hour today. So wouldn't be shocked to see that. Also, a lot of widespread 70 to 80 miles per hour winds uh, seems uh, very likely with today's storms. When you tack on quarter size hell with that 70 to 80 mile per hour wind, it, it really uh, makes it more lethal and uh, more damaging. So uh, just because the hail size isn't quite as large doesn't mean that it won't be as damaging today uh, due to the due to the fact of the wind. Now, this is not the largest hail that we're forecasting in this quarter size area. We've also got a pretty significant area where we feel like uh, that the potential will be there for for a pretty steady golf ball size hail and uh, some of that possibly even a little bit larger in this red area. A couple of the areas, um, the first area we expect uh, thunderstorms to develop across the uh, the eastern part of Iowa and move quickly into Illinois and southern Wisconsin. There's actually a boundary that lays uh, right across the northern part of Illinois, right through Chicago, and uh, that's where I expect the most intense thunderstorms to to develop this afternoon. And uh, those thunderstorms again will produce uh, the potential for some pretty significant hail across that area. There's also potential for additional thunderstorms to develop across that boundary as it moves uh, to the east uh, across parts of Indiana and Ohio uh, as early afternoon thunderstorms uh, uh, could develop. And those could pose the potential. We have some pretty high instability across that area. Uh, so the potential will be there for some pretty significant hail across Ohio and Indiana should those storms develop and also stay isolated, uh, making them supercell thunderstorms uh, with the potential for more significant hail. So we will be watching that. Uh, that would include areas like Cleveland, Akron, Columbus, Dayton, Fort Wayne, Indianapolis, uh, Toledo possibly, possibly even as far north as Detroit. So uh, there, there is a potential for some pretty high populated areas to receive significant hail, even to the east of where this main line of thunderstorms will develop. Now again, this main cluster of storms is going to develop over Iowa and northern Illinois. Um, this one will pose the largest hail threat, where we think hail up to the size of tennis or even baseballs will be possible. Uh, this does include Chicago, uh, includes Rockford, uh, Davenport, Iowa is included in this. Um, and so, so some pretty significant hail will be possible. It's not going to happen everywhere, uh, but when this hail comes down, it's, it's going to be driven by uh, some pretty significant wind as well. Uh, starting out in the 60 to 70 mile range, but as the storms develop, the higher wind will develop with that and uh, will grow that threat again for 70 to 80 mile per hour winds and potentially as strong as 100 miles per hour with some of the more intense line segments that develop uh, with this complex. Now this complex will move overnight all the way across uh, Indiana and Ohio very quickly, uh, probably at speeds of 50 to 60, maybe even 70 miles an hour. So uh, it will be moving and if it continues to produce hell as it does that, again, we expect the, the size to come down as it lines up like that. But quarter size hell can still produce some pretty good damage when it's driven by 80 mile per hour wind. So that'll be the stuff that we'll be watching for tonight. Again, uh, the chances for hell in any one location, again, they're a little bit lower uh, across Ohio, but 15% in Akron will do a 5% up in Detroit, 25% though in Columbus, and a 30% chance for hell in Fort Wayne, 25% chance back toward, down towards Dayton, Ohio, a 10% chance at Grand Rapids, a 25% chance over towards Cedar Rapids, uh, Iowa will have a 25% chance also up by Madison 
and we'll do a 45% chance for Chicago. Yes, we are expecting uh, the potential to be fairly high in Chicago, so almost a 50% chance for severe hell in, in Chicago, a 30% chance in Indianapolis, and we've got a 30% chance down towards Peoria, Illinois. So the uh, threat is there. Again, baseball size hell will be possible, especially across parts of uh, southern Wisconsin, western or eastern Iowa and northern Illinois. That seems to be the highest threat area for that significant hail. We'll continue to watch the and forecast. Uh, uh, you know, Hail Trace is going to be doing texting alerts. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff with our customers. If you're not already one of our customers, make sure to give us a call. Our direct number is 855-334-4245. I think Jamie would love to speak with you. Just dial her at extension 103 and uh, Jamie will be there to answer all your questions about what may be up and coming with today's severe weather and she'll also be there to help get you set up on any of our plans that would work best for your company. Hope you have a great day and uh, we'll enjoy watching the weather for you this afternoon.